When's the last time all of us have stood up? Oh, yeah, let's right do now. that. Yeah. Oh, that's a good... Oh, that's... Oh. Yes. Oh. And now for the deep one. Yeah. So, in theater, do you guys do things like spine rolls and stuff like that? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great warm-up. I, right. I quite liked doing that. helps you get your posture right and, and gets you your breathing nice and low. And Yeah. Have, have you guys... Because uh, I don't know if you're in theater or not. Have you ever done a spine roll? So I think I did it once in one of your group's ah. things at a con. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, we should do that. And this is how I remember it being done, because I was taught this by my friend Ryan, who uh, is a... Uh, he... Um, Ryan Karen, he's in Vancouver. He is directing and producing an awful lot of stuff over there, too. I should introduce him to you. Yes. Yes. Uh, and probably also Andy. I should have tried to convince him to come this year to this, but I don't think he'd want to be up this late. Uh, he's he's a darling man. Um, so the idea, is, I, as I understand it, is that um, you let yourself loosen just a little bit. Uh, you don't have to lock your knees if you don't want to, but the idea is to slowly tilt your head forward, and you're trying to let each individual vertebrae, that's what you're picturing, this is what helps, let each individual vertebrae slide forward and try to picture each one moving on its own. And when you've moved as far forward as you think you can move with just the one, then let the other one go. Let the other one go. And don't stretch it, just let the weight of your head pull each one of your vertebrae forward. And if you feel like you're going too fast, slow down. If you feel like you're going too slow, you can of course let that go a little bit faster, but try not to go too fast, because you can hurt yourself. And what's weird about this is that as you do this, it also if you're uncomfortable, stop and stand up again. Um, as you're doing this, you'll be like, well, I know normally I can't reach terribly low, right? Like I got a bit of a stomach so on me, so it's, I know I'm not gonna get terribly, terribly far. But you'll start to surprise yourself, let your arms hang, as to how far you can actually go, and you just let your body do an awful lot of the work for you. If you encounter any pain, stop and slowly move out of it. If anyone gets stuck, we will help you out of this. And again, picturing how many vertebrae you might, like, I don't know exactly how many I have in my back, but I'm just picturing more and more of them just kind of slowly rolling forward. Get as low as you think you can. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? And then slowly work your way back up if you're ready. Picture each one kind of pulling you back up, moving you back into that space. I find the rise is always faster than the fall. All right. Ooh. How's that? That was wonderful. It's nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Many, please. So, when you dance for 20 years, you can touch your toes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> did anyone feel like they got further than they thought they'd be able to? Because I know I did. <laughs> actually, I did too. I mean, like, if I haven't actually stretched or touched my toes or bent forward in a long time, I don't can't usually actually get my hands to the ground, but it was, it was quite easy. Yeah. All right. Now they're all standing. Yeah. How about that button? I can hit that button. Have you hit that button yet? I've hit it once, but right. I can hit it again. 